Still in Ottawa, allegations this morning the federal government missed an early opportunity to get ahead of the COVID-19 pandemic. We are learning that military intelligence officers briefed members of the government, including Defence Minister Harjit Sajjan, about an outbreak in China as early as mid-January. Michael Serapio is here as we take a look at this news. Michael, certainly mid-January is a lot earlier mm -hmm. than any of us in Canada or the vast majority of us in Canada learned about this new illness. Uh, before the vast majority and while still public health officials were saying that the risk was low of the virus and disease coming to this country. Uh, and you're right, Heather, all this being found in government documents presented to Parliament this week. And they do reveal that the Defence Minister, Harjit Sajjan, was briefed January 17th. And this is what by Canadian Forces Intelligence. He was told about COVID-19 just days after an unknown form of pneumonia was being reported to the WHO by authorities in China. Now still, despite that report and the fact that Western intelligence agencies knew for weeks about a new virus spreading through Hubei province, the government's incident response group did not meet about the disease for another 17 days. It would also be another few weeks before Canada closed the borders to foreign nationals and weeks before Ottawa altered its public messaging on the risk of the virus and its uh, potential risk to Canadians. In fact, as late as March the 10th, as we know, the health minister was saying the risk of the spread of the virus in Canada was low, and the focus really was on repatriating Canadians instead of closing borders and screening people who were coming in at airports. One security expert CBC News spoke to saying this does raise a lot of questions about why the government did not take heed of the early warning and get a response in gear. Take a look at the statement from Wesley Wark. He's from the University of Ottawa, and he says Canada for reasons that go unexplained, missed the opportunity to do proper risk assessments to seize the opportunity of early warning and to get the response planning into gear. He says, we lost a crucial period of time to take preparations before COVID-19 seriously struck in Canada. I think we have to assume that the wasted time cost Canada enormously in terms of lives and, as economists say, in a bloody-minded way, treasure. And in terms of lives, well, we know that nearly 9,000 Canadian lives have already been lost in this country so far. Uh, and so far, uh, the question then becomes, was enough done to prevent COVID-19 spreading in this country, given the advanced knowledge? Why did alarm bells did not uh, sound earlier and louder? Those are questions that we can certainly expect to be asked of the Trudeau government in the coming weeks and months, Heather. Michael Serapio, thank you very much. You're welcome.